Enjoying the weather? Say yes or no? Yes, sir. So it is 26th Republic Day now that 26th you are celebrating. So remember this. And this time you are finding it's too cold. Huh? Good. Today, on this auspicious occasion of 75th Republic Day celebration of our great nation, I extend my warm welcome to all of you who are present at the moment in our school campus to witness this event of historical, social, political importance and its impact made on the life of all Indians in the long journey of approximately eight decades of our second largest democracy of the world. Here, it is of utmost importance to mention and enumerate that over the years of these decades, India has taken strides in all walks of life after its independence on 15th August 1947, from the cruel clutches of slavery and servitude of the Mughal as well as British rule. It is also a crude fact that India has always been a non-aggressive country and never attacked or assaulted on any foreign countries, but has heroically faced waves after waves of invasion by foreign forces whose main aim was to exploit the vast natural resources and her manpower for their own benefits and gains or vested interests. It is noteworthy to mention that these foreign forces, especially the British, applied the divide and rule policy in our country in the name of caste and creed and slowly and slowly took complete control over the vast land of our country from north to south and east to west. The establishment of East India Company on our soil in August 1690 in Kolkata was a turning point in the history of our country to have complete takeover of political and judicial power of governance by the British into their hands. Henceforth began the doomsday of India's destiny and its citizens. We were deprived and denied of our bright birth rights, educational rights, freedom of speech and justice. We were subjected by them to suppression and oppression in all matters of our social, economic and political aspirations. India, which was considered to be the golden bird, proved to be a very lucrative business place for their own profit with no loss. We are indebted to our socially as well as politically aware freedom fighters who raised their voices against them. But, consequently, they were put to gallows or sent behind bars. The list of freedom fighters is so vast that within the short time it is very difficult for me to describe. But, one thing is historically proven that the sacrifice made by our freedom fighters will always be remembered in the annals of our history and which will always inspire us as well as our posterity to sustain our invaluable independence at any cost in future too. Today I remember our great son and unsung freedom fighters who led their lives to make India free and due to which we are breathing fresh air of freedom and are enjoying peace, progress and prosperity in all fields of our life. Today I also offer my rich floral tributes to those great men and women due to whose selfless sacrifices and concerted efforts we are an independent, sovereign republic as a federal state. I also remember and salute all the great people from different professions of our country due to whose consistent efforts India has taken strides in all fields and progressing fast with greater pace and we have made the impossible as possible by sending our space mission to moon or sun. 
Today, India has established its significance in the fields of science, technology, education, telecommunication, medical science, and is self-reliant in agriculture produce. It has the greatest bulk of manpower who are rendering their services to ISRO, NASA, and other agencies which is a matter of great pride for all of us. Still, there stands a great need to do a lot more, not asking ourselves what India can give to us, but what we can give our best to it. At last, I would like to invoke upon all of you that united we stand and divided we fall, which is applicable to all at all levels. Let us all work together, single, mindedly, and our level's best for respecting the diversity prevailing in our country of cultural heritage, social and religious values, linguistic variance, and political panorama, so that India may progress in all spheres of life and meet the future challenges of any kind. Let us all feel dignified while respecting the dignity of all human beings, irrespective of caste, creed, or gender variance. A few lines which were said by so many poets during the freedom of India. And those lines were very motivating for the freedom fighters, and thousands and crores of lines and Poems and poetry were written for the freedom fighters. There are three, four lines which I have taken and would like to share it with you. It is especially for the young ones, and that time it was sung in such a way that the freedom fighters were so much motivated. Only few lines I have taken from there. It's in Hindustan ki raah mein, Hindustan ke naujwa, shahid ho, pukarte hain yeh zameen aasma. शहीद हो शहीद तेरी मौत ही तेरे वतन में जिंदगी तेरे लहू से दाग उठेगी चमन में जिंदगी किले के फूल उस जगह की जहां शहीद हो वतन की राह में वतन के नौजवान शहीद हो वतन की लाज रखना है अजीज अपनी जान से वह नौजवान जा रहा है आज किसी शान से गुलाम खुद वतन के दुश्मनों से इंतकाम ले इन अपने बाजुओं से तू खंजरों का काम ले पहाड़ तक भी कांपने लगे तेरे जुनून से वतन की राह में वतन के नौजवान शहीद हो शहीद हो शहीद हो थैंक यू थैंक यू मेरे बाद जय हिंद जय भारत